Hi, welcome to Vim Tips. Today we're going to start off with a, a fresh installation of Vim, so that means we don't have any VimRC files or any plugins installed. Uh, we'll start by creating an, a Ruby file, and I've written one here already. Okay, one problem that we see is that there's no color so we'll have to turn the syntax on syntax on okay now we have syntax coloring to make this permanent we'll add this to our vimrc and we still have a problem which is that if we do if we go to the very top here and do equal capital g that's supposed to do an automatic indent of the whole file but it's not it's not doing it that's because indenting isn't turned on we need to turn that on so let's go back and we turn it on by doing file type plugin indent on so let's exit and open up that file. If I do cap equal capital G and now it's indented. The indenting is a little bit big so let's let's change that. So let's set the tab. Set shift width equal to 2 and tab shift is equal to 2 and expand tab. Expand tab means that um, the, the tab spacing will be re replaced by spaces. Get out and go back in. So now all my settings will be set. And you can see now it's, it's all set. All right, so if I want to choose a color theme, I have a very limited set. I, I, I type uh, C-O-L-O -O and press Control D and that gave me a list. So let's choose tort. So this is what it looks like, tort. So if I want to install other color schemes, it's best to use Pathogen. Pathogen is a, is a plugin that allows you to easily install other plugins. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm on Tim Pope's Vim Pathogen page on GitHub. He has pretty easy instructions. All you need to do is take this cut and paste. And that part is set, but I also have to update the vimrc file by adding this to the top. And now I have pathogen installed. Okay, to install a plugin. Let's say that I want to install the color scheme plugin. All I need is the GitHub URL. Go to the .vim bundle directory. You can see there's nothing here. Git clone and it's set. So next time I do that, I do the color scheme and press control D I have a lot more to choose from on the terminal it's it doesn't show up very well because uh, it has a very limited set of colors so I I like to use GVim or backvim so if I choose the color scheme of mine smoke gives me a nice color. If I want a darker theme, this is a, a darker theme. Okay, so let's say now that uh, now that I have a lot of things installed here, the next thing I want to install is Ulta Snips. Okay. 
So again, I go into the vim bundle directory, dot vim bundle, git clone. So what this allows me to do is if I type def and press tab, it sets up a lot of stuff for me. And to move from one field to the next, I press control J. Control K move back to the previous one. Control J and X equals one, put S X. Yeah, let's call this bar. Okay, you want, if you want to create your own, you could do multi snip edit, type snip, tab, and let's say that I want hello to be, that's control J to move the next one. Uh, So now if I type hello, press tab, it fills it in. Another useful plugin is called Syntastic. So we'll go over to Syntastic, get the URL, and it's installed. Let's say that I make some type of syntax error. Let's say foo close parentheses. If I save, it gives me an error. Unexpected parentheses expecting keyword end. If I remove that, save, the error goes away. 